such thing. How do woodpeckers go down on their girl? God damn. What the F is good? Stiff Socks watchers, viewers, listeners, consumers, anybody and everybody. What the F is good, dude? We are on tour. And real quick, for the people looking at this on the video, we are not on a new set of the podcast. We are actually in a fucking Marriott. Yeah. It's as bad as it looks. It's 100%. Retweet. Gabe, show them. Yeah, we'll talk about why we're at a Marriott and not a comedy club, which we thought we were going to be at this weekend in the episode. So stay tuned to figure out how the fuck we are headlining a Marriott. Da -na 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 -na. And this is where else you can see me what? and Michael where? Blaustein. Oh, Michael Too Fine Blaustein will be yelling about feet where I will tell you. Upcoming shows, Raleigh, North Carolina, November 2nd. Charlotte, North Carolina, November 3rd. Nashville, Tennessee, November 4th. November 5th through the 7th, I will be in Atlanta. Georgia, San Francisco. I will be there November 21st and new date, new date, San Diego, California. San Diego. December 9th. Come out where you get tickets. I will tell you blaucomedy.com, blaucomedy.com. Mr. Wallace, I am going to be, be in Virginia Beach headlining a shared it in. No, the Virginia Beach Funny Bone, an actual comedy club. Unheard of these days. October 22nd <laughs> through the 24th. That's five shows. Virginia Beach, Sub Little Beach. Then I'm going to be in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Jersey at the Stress Factory. That's November 4th through the 6th. And then we're, dude, new show at it. Uh -oh. uh -oh. New York fucking city, baby. Concrete Jungle where comedy's made of, baby. That is November 8th. It's Monday. I'm sorry. It's two shows at Gotham Comedy Club. It is a part of the New York Comedy Festival. So it's going to be a fun, lit experience. There's a 7 and a 9.30 show. Pull up. And I think we're adding a Syracuse show at the end of this month. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think we are. I don't know. BRB. Jacksonville, Florida, November 18th through the 20th. December. We're going to be in November. What the fuck's wrong? Cut it. <laughs> December. We're going to be in Denver. Bars. All right. We're going to be in Denver December 9 through 11 <laughs> at Comedy Works, uh, apparently one of the best comedy clubs in the world. I'm fucking excited. Charlotte, North Carolina at the Comedy Zone December 16 through the 18th, and then we're wrapping it up this year before a big old tour. We're going to be in Nashville, Tennessee for six shows at Zany's Comedy Club January 6 through 9, 69. Guys, quick reminder, we have a Patreon. You know it. You love it. Uh, Patreon, we get four extra episodes for only $5 a month. $5 a month, that's cheaper than a goddamn cup of coffee okay so what do you get from the patreon you get four extra episodes and access to the entire patreon back catalog and the discord so go peep it all right it is at patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod go get it Gabe splat splat now we're gonna be on a bed plug it in plug it in who's that glade uh, glade plugins G pl <laughs> that's glade. all i came up with Plug it in, plug it in. Oh, it's just a well, mom, but with more fucking melodies behind it. What were the pitches before that? Because they could, they should have been, or would have been so bad if they went how with... How bad? i tell you how bad, but you know what I mean? If they went with plug it in, plug it in, Yeah. where where did they start with? Like just hor like horrendous pitches if they went with the most generic plug it in, plug it in. Also, that's what I'm going to start saying when I put my penis in my girlfriend. Plug it in, plug it in. Well, I'll tell you what's even better than that. Somebody messaged oh. me, a lovely listener, uh, that in Alabama, which is only nine yeah. hours and 45 minutes. By the way, we were in Plano, Texas, one of the worst cities in probably America. Uh, it's horrendous. No it, wonder they call it Plain O. Goddamn Plano. It. No, it's fine. The show's just got moved to Marriott, so we're not happy about that. It was supposed to be at a comic club. We're in a Marriott. Now we're recording a podcast in a bed. Only fans. But somebody sent us a lovely uh -oh. message being like, did you guys know mm -hmm. that there's a place called Cooter's Pond? And it's no. nine hours and 45 minutes away from here. Let's go. Look, we drink a few sugar-free Red Bulls and fucking get after it. We can go to Cooter's Pond. How big is it? How big is the Cooter? God damn. Enough to swim in. God uh, damn. damn. Does it have Yelp reviews? It, Cooter's what? Huh? Pond. Cooter. Cooter. Cooter's Pond. It's in, uh, what's Wait, it Where is it? Where is it? Three stars, three reviews. What are the fucking reviews? It's in Prattville, Alabama. If anybody listens and lives in Alabama, please take a selfie at Cooter's Pond and send it to me. We will repost it. Cooter's Pond. Hold what are on. the stars? Some what, One guy gives it one star. I couldn't fuck here. This Cooter sucks. <laughs> Cooter! 
Scooter? I thought it said Scooter. I'll tell you what, Cooter's Pond be wet, wet. Hey, now, let me ask you this, Gabriel. Three stars. I don't know Yelp. Is it out of five? Don't hit that. That's me. what I, I was just thinking that because the, yeah, it's out of five, but okay. the, the reviews Everybody are really it. nice. All they the reviews really... are three. Here's what I don't get is that all, all of them are three stars. And this guy goes, a nice little park. Well, then five stars there. There are three main parts of Cooter's Pond, clit, vagina, and flaps. <laughs> <laughs> the boat ramp area, the picnic area on the river, and the Prattville Amstead an administered. I can't read. Park on top of a hill. Da, 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 da. We went there on a Why did these motherfuckers try to write a novel? If you have more than two paragraphs, actually more than two sentences on a Yelp review, no. you need a hobby. Go plow out your wife or she's getting plowed out by the WNBA coaches outside of your Why house. do you think there are cooters pond? Because they get no cooter. Also, let me tell you something. If you write a Yelp review, you're a loser. I don't care what anyone says. Have you ever wrote a Yelp review? It, no. Have you? It, no. Do you... A lot, of, a lot more people than you think would have. I think I was on the road with somebody recently, and I was like joking. I was like, "Yeah, you've never wrote a review." He's like, ah, "I've, I've done it." I'm, you know, hey, let me, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take what I just said back. If you write a positive Yelp review, I'm on no, board. No, no, they you, were negative. Nobody's ever left a positive one. In well, like they no, do, they but do, like, they do, but. Um, I don't my, know. my thing is, if you write if you write a positive one, if you have like a crazy great experience, the server's awesome, whatever, the you, the owner comes out, gives you a free birthday cake or some shit. Then if you write a Yelp review, then I'm on board with you. I want to help this restaurant out. Let me write a positive one. Yeah. You know how bad my experience has to be yeah. for someone to, for me to write a Yelp review. The owner has to come out and plow my girlfriend in front of me. How do you feel when restaurants go like, uh, leave us a five star Yelp review and we'll give you a free French onion soup or whatever? Done. Yeah, French onion soup. Have you ever had it? I have, but like, don't you feel like it's bribery? Like, suck yes. my dick instead. What? Yeah. Oh, hold up. Free hand jobs, four stars. Hand jobs, I'd do five stars. Yeah, for yeah. sure. The last thing I'll say about Cooter's Pond Give is one me. of the ones said uh, three stars. Bathrooms are shady. Would not recommend. Hey, you're going to a place called Cooter's Pond. I'm surprised. And the bathrooms are the only thing shady. God damn. Why are you going? Why are there bathrooms? Pee in the lake. Cooter. That's what they're for. Cooter. Oh, body found near upriver from Cooter's Whoa. Pond. Whoa, oh, dude! If there's ever a place I'm dying, it's inside some Cooter. I'll dude, tell you what. Talk about body count, ha! Damn, damn! Huh? I'm trying to. What you say? I would drown in the Cooter Pond. You? Think? That sounds like a two chains line. Pussy so good, I would drown in a Cooter Pond. I make more money than Scooter Braun. That's oh. good. What the fuck? Yo, I'm tall like LeBron. <laughs> good, bad. Like LeBron. <laughs> Um, um, but I beat the cakes. Timmy Turner's mom. Somebody signed me. Timmy oh, Turner, if fairly odd parents. I got it. Cosmo and Wanda probably had freaky ass sex. Yo, one I'd give one free shoes out. Tom. Oh, yeah, that was your line. Tom's. <laughs> I saw a dude at the show last night wearing Tom's. I like Tom's. I've never bought a pair. Yeah. But I would wear them. I, I had them in high school. I thought they were I thought they were tight. Yeah, they look good. They don't, I, they're I, simple shoe. You can't wear with any jeans though. You have to wear shorts because they're so like narrow and thin that when you wear them on like jeans, it just floods over it. I don't like a. I don't like a flood. Yeah. What? How do you feel about the guy with the individual toed shoes? I do not like it. <laughs> yeah. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Repeat. I hate it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Trying to help your arches? Stop it. Um, there was a TikTok that I that I saw recently that a girl made her foot like her the top of I don't know how to explain this the heel so and the top up, of her foot. Talk. Oh my god, the the top of her foot and their heel they almost touched. So they made like a donut a hole. Moon? They almost made a donut hole with her foot. Oh, where she took the two? God, no. Now that's a foot light. Kick ah. it. No, but one foot, one foot. One foot did that? Like the arch, like whoom, like that. Oh my and then God. she could arch her shit so much that the top. She's probably so good at grabbing the remote from down on the bed. The remote? Give me that. Who are you talking? The remote? That's oh. where your brain went? Yeah. Jerk me off <laughs> with your foot. One foot. One foot. Was she probably great at type, type, type roping? Type, type. Type writing? No. What, type rope. The line. Oh, the type, type walking. Type, type rope. rope. Type walking. rope. That's literally, I love when names are just exactly what it is. It's a tight rope. Oh, okay. That's yeah, tight, tight rope. Um, do you ever see the? No, I was gonna say you ever see this movie. I did. Jo Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie where he was the the famous tight rope walker. Oh, uh, the tight rope walker. That's exactly what it's called. Yeah, man. <laughs> Featuring Johnny Walker. <laughs> uh, no, I have not seen that. Oh, dude, it's so good. He talks in a really bad French accent and just and just walks on the tight rope. Um, could you, could you do that? Do what tight rope? The tight. It's really hard to say actually. No tight tight rope. Tight rope. Tight, whoa, you got it. Tight, tight rope. rope. Tight rope. Yeah. Do you think you could do it? No. You ever seen those people at the park that have like slacking? one that's like six feet? Huh? Slacking. What's Slack that? line. 
What's that? Slackline. That's what it's called. It's like a tightrope, t- but for guys that also play hacky sack. Was that a Whoa. shot? Was that a shot fired, Gabe? Gabe popping off of Plano? All I know is, Gabe, you look like someone who plays hacky sack. Or played uh, hacky sack. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played hacky sack. No? You yeah. ever played hacky sack? Uh, I would try. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I would go- get like two kicks in. Anything athletic or any hand-eye coordination, terrible. I'm good at eye hand coordination. Eye foot coordination, not the best. No, your eyes are always on the foot coordination. God, damn. Uh, damn. <laughs> Ha, damn. Um, I feel yeah. like if you had see through vision where you could look through people's like shoes and shit, you would just be, your head would always be down when you're walking, just stared at the like, ground. Dude, I'm gonna be real honest with you, man. There was a pair of feet that I saw this morning when we were having breakfast that got me a little at a brunch spot that got, got me a little rocked up. Really, dude, the symmetry was fucking crazy. The symmetry, and she, and she had these uh, what are they called? The goddamn uh, toes. <laughs> No, there's, there's the, two parts to it. Foot the, toes. What, what are those goddamn uh, with the buckles on them? I know they're shoes, but Birkenstocks. Thank you. Yo, Jeez. Birkenstocks like BDSM for dudes with foot fetishes. Facts. Right. Facts. Belts, chains, whips. Fuck. God. Just oh yeah, you're right. It looks like your foot's trying to do heroin. Just a belt around your goddamn foot. Gabe. Gabe. <laughs> what do you think? BDSM. Gabe did heroin. Gabe is a, a stronger man now. Gabe is such a. It's a wholesome dude. You are, Gabe. But I bet I don't know, man. I know you know I don't you don't don't love to discuss this, but I think you plow it. I think you know secret moves. You do know like the rear. You're like, oh, this is the dream catcher, and you just fucking put her in you and vape do it. in her ear real quick. Oh yeah, yeah Gabe. You do a lot of yeah, ear vape tricks while I'm fucking Has a girl ever that smoked in the vape out of her cooter? What? what? Has a girl ever smoked vape out of her cooter? Yeah. 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 Anything you can think of. A girl's played Digimon out of her cooter. <laughs> <laughs> Cooter Pond. How many people have got fucked in their cooter at Cooter Pond? Uh, so many. Cause Cooter li- Pond. Literally, that's where you go. I, is it the? Was it not named that? Was it named like Abraham Lincoln Lake before? And then yeah, people well, fucked so like, much, and it changes to Cooter Lake. Why were Pond. everybody's names in the early days always about like Dick and Cooter? This was, Cooter's probably somebody's last name. Yes, Cooter is also the name of a bird. There's Uh-oh. a Cooter bird. Well, ka ka. <laughs> Hold on. Why? Why? I'm sweaty. Where? What bird? Bird watchers. Why are you getting sweaty? Because we're talking about Cooter. I am. We've been horny the whole trip. Horned up. Horned up. Horned up. Let show me. It's tip. hard. It's hard. My it's dick. Hard. My dick. Hard. What? It's hard being on the road. Well, it is. Just you know? walking around, seeing a loose Cooter around. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. A bunch of loose coot on the loose. Yeah, it's a. It's not a bird. It's a turtle. There's a bunch of. There's a what? bunch of turtles Gross. called Cooter t- turtles. There's a Florida Cooter. There's a River Cooter. If you tell me what a Florida Cooter is, I am not picturing a turtle, okay? I will tell you what. Oh, that's... I picture a girl swinging around a beef jerky in her hands in the morning going, who needs loose Cooter? <laughs> loose Cooter. God damn. Holy Toledo. Big shout out to our first sponsor of the Mother Effing episode, our boys at Blue Chew. Trev, do you want your penis nice and hard? Right now? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a gosh darn Blue Chew, all right? Well, what is it? Okay, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredient as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at the fraction of the cost, okay? You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever the opportunity arises. Arises, that means your cock is going to arise, okay? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I chewed one once, and I was ready, dude. First time, ready. Second time, ready. A lot of these young guys are like, dude, I don't have a problem getting it hard. But let me ask you, it you ain't got that. a problem getting the second time? The second round. The second round is the issue, all right? Second round is going down for the pound town. You feel? Anyways, look, the best part about Blue Chew is it's all done online. You don't got to go to a CVS and no. be like, hey, I don't know how to get it up the second time. Bada binga. Do this shit online. And I really do think that it's all about having that confidence to go round two. There's nothing sexier than confidence. Yo, and Tits, it maybe, de- but. Ooh, uh, ooh, yes, it is. And it delivers to your door in a discreet package. It doesn't say Ding. like. Ding. Dong. Emphasis on the dong. Yeah. Bluetooth.com. Calm. It doesn't show up in like a dildo or some weird shit like that, okay? Discreet packaging, so nobody knows that you need to get that shit rocked 
up, all right? And you guys are like, where do we get it? I will effing tell you, okay? So, we've got a special deal for our listeners, okay? Try Blue Chew free. Free. Dog, free. Free. When you use our promo code SOCKS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That is BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS, to receive your first month free, dude. BlueChew.com, promo code SOCKS. Go get it hard. Banana. Banana. This <laughs> is Cock Center. <laughs> God damn. You ever fuck a girl with a nope. southern accent? It's odd. Hey, you sound like a didgeridoo, bitch. Yeah, you're like, call me daddy. She's like, what was that, papa? And you're like, I just came oh too quick. God. No, it actually is incredibly hot. I'm just fucking Really? Right. Oh, my God. I don't. Oh, you walk up to a girl. Hey, how are you? I remember uh, one time. Hey, nothing. How are you? Oh, fuck. You talk, you walk in cowboy boot, bitch. Huh? Oh, I forgot to, well, two things. All right. First of all, one time I made passionate L-O-V-E, a.k.a. four minutes of missionary with a woman <laughs> in Las Vegas. Four minutes? Two. Yeah, I was doing good. Two. That was on Blue Chew. Okay. <laughs> Promo code socks. <laughs> um, no, she, uh, this this was a while ago, and she had this crazy ass back tattoo. Yeah. You, you She was up your alley. She was in your alley. She oh. is your alley. Oh shit. But in a, like in like a massive ass back tattoo, dark, oh. dark black hair. Yeah, you know. It was kind of oh. smelled like a junkyard. It was Fucking, right up here. Dude, I absolutely love it. Like it, but in like a dark alley. It's like where are, you do heroin. Are all alleys dark? Some alleys are lit up. Really? Yeah. Well, they always have a shadow from the buildings too. Yeah, but some alleys now in like New York, they have like lights and shit. Huh. Yeah, oh, like string lights all up on. That's it. smart. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay. This no, this, nothing's ever good is happening in an alley. No, there's only just like abortions that happen in an alley. No. Anyway, <laughs> uh, she was Latina. Oh, and she a Mapel. Close. Okay. Babble. Babble. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I remember. I think I was doing. Bow wow wow yippee yo yippee a doggy and she hit me with a little bit of Spanish. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! When you hear that, you stop for a second. You're like, oh yeah. Am I the mayor of St. Louis, Missouri? <laughs> what is like? It was that's the best compliment ever. I like. I felt like I was actually doing something. Yeah, you ever fucked around so much that she, she changes language? She could have been like, you have a small dick, and I was like. Oh, Pequeño Pepe, yeah, okay. Dude, my last two girl, how many ago? Three girlfriends, I guess. What is this? Guy, this it, crazy. I've had three know. girlfriends my entire life. Whoa, uh, she was Venezuelan, mm-hmm. so she would do the poppy. Yeah, Baco no rote no no nos all of Was the that a real time. sentence? No. Oh, kicks okay, them hard. No, <laughs> okay. She do, she do all, right. all the time with the whisper in my ear and shit. Really? Like yeah. what would she say? I, honestly. I dude, you know you can't focus when you're rocked it's up. She's like your back left blinker's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're at a trisket. Isn't that Here crazy? we are, dude. Yeah. If I could speak a different language and it was a girl and I was getting my shit fucking clapped out or not clapped out, any level of clapping, uh-huh. slow clap, uh, I would be just saying anything and everything. Yeah, I'd be like, why are pandas uh, going extinct? But I'd say in a sexy ass voice. Yeah, like Purple Potamus was an old video rental place. Isn't that crazy? And we come to that, I, dude. The amount she'd be like, of come if you're a bitch, and I'd be like, oh, say it slower. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever come to? I've come to a bunch of weird stuff, like the sight of a baguette just fucking come immediately. Wait, I'm lost. All right, me too. No, I'm saying like, is there like ever? You know, like the the old the old uh, the old the old adage, the old adage, the old fucking hack thing about like you watching porn and like right before you're about to come the guy shows oh, oh, up oh shows his face yeah and you're like god yeah. randy he's like, your car's extended warranty no uh i would mm, i don't know yeah i mean i mean i've told i think i've said it on this podcast before there was a book that my sister owned and it was just in the bathroom say that slower <laughs> there was a book <laughs> that my sister owned <laughs> I was about to come up. That's pretty you, good. Ever, you ever talk so sexy, make yourself hard? Yeah. Gabe, zoom in. No, please yeah. don't. Um, <laughs> no, but she had this book, and it was about like, um, just like becoming a woman, right? Oh. And it was all, but it's all animated. And then on one page, I think it's page twenty-seven. It. You think? She, you know exactly what page that is. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Um, anyways, 
but she had she, she had drawn out tits. It was like when you when you are a woman, this is what your breasts will look like. And I was like, y'all got this in braille. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you one of my friends left a my my friend's literally like a simp like on Instagram comments. He left a comment on this girl's Instagram. Like she had like thirteen thousand followers, so like she for sure saw it. Yeah, yeah. But he wrote, If your body was a book, I would read it in Braille. You ever been so horny you wish you were blind? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's just feeling he's like tit, 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 tit. <laughs> he's just reading the front page. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, like a wit, like yeah. There was a time when, and this is probably happened to a lot of people that are listening. But like when you're like beating the old Miralos, and then all of a sudden your mom call, you're like in the middle of coming, and you like one of your parents calls. I've never had that. God, it's always like pre when I'm getting into it. Yeah. Also, I feel like people now know when I'm like jerk, especially my girl. I feel like she knows. Really? Yeah. Always calls. Calls are just a bunch of texts. Really? And I'm like, you really ruined the momentum here. Yeah. It's like speed bumps for jerking off. There you go. Bling, bling, bling. And they're 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 nice texts, but they're sort of like, I don't need these texts. Yeah. Bling. I'm at this ice cream shop. Bling. Look at this picture. Look at this ice cream. Bling. That is interesting. Since I'm moving in with the lady ass, oh. I was like, well, how do I, can I just beat my meat freely? She was like, yeah. Like, You asked this? Yeah. I'm very proud that you're, I feel like you're. you're that was the first question I asked. But it, it, I'm saying, like, what kind of rugs do you want? And I'm like, where can I touch myself without you interrupting? <laughs> Not on this rug. And I was like, what would you do if you walked in on me and I'm just full on just watching BDSM, Birkenstock, in the cock, you know, the wildest point. She's probably just like, like, oh, what are you doing? Like, it wouldn't. I was like, would you join in? She's like, what? I was like, I'm just saying. <laughs> it'd be wild if you yeah, did. Yeah, you know, hypothetically. Uh, no, I think she's just like, yeah, just like, don't. They just like go in a different room, I guess. I this is the thing that I think that's like a cool response from her, but I don't think that's gonna be the the what's gonna happen. What do you mean? I just I don't know, man. Like I live with someone, and it just you just can't be like, oh, I'm gonna go jerk off now. Well, yeah, I usually jerk off in the wee hours of the night, and by we I mean wiener. <laughs> Guys, the wee hours. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? The wiener hours. The wiener hour. <laughs> Title. Shut it down. This is the podcast. Dude, the wee hours of the night. Yeah, I mean, if she's just making fucking chicken parm, I'm not going to be like, I got to go to the garage for seven to eight minutes. Like, I'm just going to wait till it's like 2 a.m. to be like, she's asleep, go I, in the office, squirt, squeeze, squirt, squeeze. I just feel like women, for the most part, they just feel like it's like a disrespectful move towards them. Because well, they're like, you, oh, you can have the real thing, but you're going to fucking jerk off the Lisa Ann's highlight tape? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, it's more so like it's 2 a.m. You're asleep. I'm going to let you like sleep. Wait, that's the last thing you want me to do is kick in the door and be like, who's trying to get frisky, huh? Frisky is the most unfrisky word ever. Frisky sounds like uh, cat food. <laughs> is it hold on, is it called frisky? Whiskey? Wh- whiskers? Frisky cat food, yeah. Whiskey. Frisky is a cat food? No, whiskey's a cat. No. no whiskey's a drink. Frisky's. <laughs> Frisky. Oh, right. whiskey. I was right. That's my parents. That's the one of the cats' name is whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. So I always get to hear my dad yelling about whiskey. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> the neighbors like, what the hell's wrong with that guy? Um. I, yeah. I just. I really do think. Well, I guess you're right. Right. If you do in the wee hours of the morning, which is so goddamn funny to say, but if you do in the wee wee hours of the morning, I think. It, I think it is. But the, but it's also sad because like, how great is it to jerk off in your own bed? It is really. I got. Nice. I got to jerk off in remote locations. But you got to make that office nice now. I got to have that masturbation station. God damn. Get yeah. A, get a reading chair in there. Nice little nook. I'll tell you what, though, man. You ever come so hard in the reading chair, it rocks itself for you. <laughs> it, hold on. It what? It rocks itself for you. Oh, I'm thinking about a rocking chair. Yeah, 100%. You can read in a rocking chair? You can, but you have to be 89 years old sitting on a bag of Werther's. You can't just be a normal <laughs> human being. Dude, that is true. Yo, I'm sick of, uh, first of all, sitting on things. I'm sick. <laughs> that sounded weird coming out of my mouth. But Flip I'm it. sick I'm sick of fucking, uh, uh, what, do we, what do you sit on diners? What are those things you sit on? Booths? Booths? Stool, bo- I'm booths? sick. Yeah, booths. Is there a way to not look like a complete bitch getting into a booth? No. You can't be like, yeah, and then I got four bald eagles getting delivered tomorrow with all the heroin in the bags, and then you got to get out. Can I go to the bathroom real quick to pick up the plug? Skirt ski. Yeah, you 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 do see how like do a, men get like how do like Alpha, how does Joe Rogan get out of a bench? He Joe just Rogan, flips the table. No, Joe Rogan doesn't it. sit in 
That's that's the alpha move. You don't sit in. Like sitting in oh, on in a booth oh, is yeah. like sitting in the middle in the back seat. If yeah. you're Joe Rogan, you don't yeah, sit but, in but the But don't you want to sit in the middle. back to get away from all the people? What do you mean in the in the I'm talking about booths. Yeah. But he he's gonna sit on the oh I see what you're saying. If yeah. like people come up and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, he's boothing it up. I don't know, dude. I don't think dude, apparently he rolls around with like Navy SEALs. Yeah. I didn't know this. He's got like five bodyguards. I was just in Austin, and everybody knows everything about Joe Rogan okay, in Austin. Cool. Please tell it's me. It's crazy. This. He has five bodyguards, two at all times, and they alternate. All like Navy SEALs. He has two Navy SEAL bodyguards. Yeah. Dude, you're Joe Rogan. I would have seven bodyguards. Dude, dude, hold on. We said this on the podcast when we when we rolled in with that DJ. That was the coolest security experience I've where, ever had. Where was this? Remember we were in we were in Vegas and we rolled in with that DJ? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, the security was crazy. We were in the center of all his security. Oh, there yeah. There must have been six security guards, maybe more. We were like mm. in the center with him, and he like rolled in. I yeah, felt like if we were you're like a security a, guard, in you the have, Congress. Yeah, you have to be like, you have, it has to be like, oh, that's security. You can't have a guy that's like, is that his homie or manager? Oh, that's security? Like, yeah. Like, you need to. I want my security. What would you, my security would wear fatigues. What was that again? Uh, like plus? camo. Camo. Like they would look like they were like they would could get on a plane first for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking a lot of like uh like Nike elastic like black polos. Yeah, they're, they're, they they don't fit though. They're very small. The black polos, or you know, what? also what I see a lot of Oakleys got to have Oakleys. Every security yes. guy in the world has Oakleys. Oakleys. I want the the ear thing, whatever the earpiece thing is. Yeah, it doesn't even connect to anything. See. No, it's he's on his, to Elton John. There. I don't give yeah, a fuck. It's on his iPad, just in yeah. his pocket, and I want. That's how big he is as an iPad as a phone. <laughs> And I he want to be Russian a little bit. Uh, yeah, even if they're not stuff, even, maybe not even Russian, but has to speak in a Russian accent. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Even he if you're from Des Moines, Nick, and yeah. I want the what are you okay? Oh, that makes me feel so good. Very secure. Yeah, Gustav, and I want them to wear. You know how like all Russian dudes they wear the I want to say pantsuit. That's not right. You know the the head to toe thing that match the fucking uh, Adidas tracksuit. There you go. God, I want tracksuit. I don't want a security guy in tracksuit. He's too no? comfortable. He's, he always feels like he just nutted. <sighs> tracksuit is, is... Have you ever put on a tracksuit? That's just like pajamas for Russian people. Uh, yeah. Pajamas. Uh, How do you spell that word? I don't, I don't word? think I've ever seriously put on one. I've done it for like videos. Right. It's, 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 a, it's a thing. That's a personality trait. That's who you are. Russians and Italians love a tracksuit. Oh, yeah. Just, just, it's, it's just, you're wearing pajamas. You're not not wearing pajamas. First of all, the word pajamas. Huh? There's a How do we go from shirt to pants, normal names, to pajamas? Oh, what about pa pants? Pajamas sounds like something you could call some good... What? Pussy. Oh. She had that pajama. I like poncho. I don't. Bitch, pussy's so big, it felt like a poncho. Okay. Yeah. Like, oh, I thought you were talking about like a rain poncho. That's what I mean. It's so wet you could protect it. Nah. Wait. That that deflects the wet. Yeah. Not good. No. You need wet. Always wet. Wet. You ever put Isn't your pee pee in a cooter and you're like, it's not ready yet. Well, just put that say, shit back in the oven. I was just gonna say, yeah, it's like you 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 testing it in. Like you know how there's all those like life hacks to make if you uh, put a toothpick in the cake and a little bit of cake comes out, it's not done yet. So essentially, our dicks are like toothpicks. Yeah. Wait. You know what I mean? A uh, bigger toothpick. Are they? Uh, number two pencils. If your dick was a, could, if if your dick, how big would your? Does your if your dick is this? Is it Snickers? Is what I'm trying to get to, right? Snickers. Uh -huh. Is my is, dick bigger? Is than your that? dick the bigger Halloween or ones, smaller yeah. than the Halloween Snickers? ones? Yeah. The mini ones. Uh, I could probably do two of those. The Halloween ones. Oh, let me ask you this: Are two of the mini ones one Snickers? I believe so. Also, king size. If a girl said I had a king size cock, I would run for mayor. I think they would just get to the key. They hand you a key to the city. Is there an actual key? Give me the key. <laughs> Where do you enter it? That would be sick. You open all the Marriott's. We're in a fucking Marriott, everyone. Just got off. But just one skeleton key that opens all the doors. Yeah. Weird, illegal, fire. Yeah, how does that work? Because like, somebody like Jack Harlow gets one for like Louisville, Kentucky, and then they're like, yeah, here's the key to the city. And you're like, can I go to Arby's with this? Yeah. You're trying to breaking line? and entering? No, I'm, I have the key to the city. If you want to like buy an iPhone at Best Buy, like do you just go in the front of the fucking line? What does it give you? Gabe, can you look it up? What, can you the key? finger somebody with the key to the city? You could. I'd do it. 
the it doesn't do anything does it, anymore. Does that unlock That's an orgasm? Stupid. Come on. It says. Come the, on. The key symbolizes the freedom of the recipient to enter and leave the city at will, which all of us can. I hate definitions do. that are just like they're just saying things to say things. They're dumb. I love I love when you look up. But what's disciplinary mean? Oh, it means the discipline of the plenarian. You bitch. You Oxford fuck. The Oxford Dictionary. Why are we the British? We're listening to the fucking British about goddamn definitions. The Oxford Dictionary. Where's the Florida Dictionary? No teeth. I'm still missing. I'll tell you where the Florida Dictionary is. It's a Chili's menu. That's the Florida Dictionary. Too big. Come to my shows in Jacksonville. (laughs) Man, guys, Uh, you know I still don't have a tooth. What the fuck's happening? You should get a tooth. Tooth. Do you do anything cool with it? Like, do you spit, dip spit out of it? I don't, I've never done anything fucking cool with it. I'm so pissed. Would I you, got an idea for you. What? Put your dick through it? <laughs> Hold on. Can a girl, if she doesn't have two front teeth, can she like, like little dick? Or if you didn't have a two front teeth, you could eat a little bit of cooter. I don't think that would help the cooter. You well, could, I it'd guess be a you, cool visual. Dude, if you... It, Oh, if you don't have two front teeth, I bet you you can find a perfect size dildo width-wise, slam it in there, huh? and you fuck a girl like a That's god. That's a baby carrot, brother. No, I'm saying like, if, you, if you have no front teeth. Do your teeth. You have no front front teeth. You at least have like an it, two inches. Yeah. I guess. You can slam Couldn't you just bite thing. onto it? I've seen dildos that you can connect to your chin. Pause <laughs> the game. Well, maybe they're not supposed to be war in there, but... Um, I've like at sex store seen them on like a mannequin where they're on the chin. They kind of look like quagmire. I guess that is a great place for. There you go. Whoa. Chin dildo. That's not a chin though. That's what right on the mouth. But it's still pretty cool. I'm going to role play as a woodpecker with that. <laughs> it is kind of a woodpecker ish thing. How do woodpeckers go down on their girl? God Jesus. damn. How, do, how would you not immediately break her vagina? I think you She's do. She's like, Steven, be careful. Remember what happened last time? He's like, I know, I know. You're going to do it? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, they literally, Adam and Eve. How, how many stars I got? Why not five? It's got to have 120. Four stars, 344 reviews. Dude, you could put a GoPro on that. You know what would be sick? Oh, but I, hold on. I just remember what this is for. On the chin, you put it in the cooter, and then you get to lick the cullet. Wait. Yeah. Work the logistics in your brain on oh, that one, sir. Oh, I thought one, you sir. just put it on and put on some like Metallica and start a headbang. Head banging, bang, sex, bang, bang energy. Bang energy. That's what I'm on right now. That's what we're on right Whoa, now. Whoa, on the bang. I still don't have a tooth. Can we talk about that real quick? Why? Get more. I, 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 do, I do not know. Where is it? What happened to it? I. You don't remember the story? I mean, this was like nine years ago. Yes, yeah, very, very nine years what ago. What happened to your tooth? Um, so I don't, There, I have a congenital thing where I just oh, have congenital. babies. Congenital? Yeah. You have genitals in your mouth? <laughs> I would love them. Come here. God damn. Hey, shout out to our next sponsor, Crowd Health. Health. And honestly, I'll tell you what Crowd Health is because if you're not aware, it is a community uh-huh. of people who are tired of paying for a broken system. It is a place where you can get simple, flexible, flexible, we all love that, Ayo, <laughs> an affordable way to pay for your health care. Being in the Crowd Health community can save you hundreds. Hundreds of dollars monthly and put thousands, thousands of dollars back in your pocket like a pocket pussy. God damn. (laughs) Membership as a monthly subscription, okay? Start or stop when it's convenient for you. Simple and transparent pricing customized to fit your needs, all right? You can scam bills and throw them away. Crowd Health takes it from there. Press a button to receive virtual care anytime anywhere crowd health is able to offer amazing prices because of its community of health conscious members okay but for a limited time our listeners get their first month free and in capitalized letters after they've been a member crowd health will include a fitness wearable all right that's 30 days to try risk free plus the fitness wearable okay just go to join crowdhealth.com backslash Fit and enter code SOCKS at sign up. That is join crowdhealth.com backslash fit. Promo code SOCKS. All right, Crowd Health is not health insurance. It's a community-powered alternative. Terms and conditions may apply. Splat. Goddamn. Goddamn. Um, All right, I got to suck a dick before I die. So this is what I'm <laughs> 
<laughs> what about before you leave Plano, Texas? Do you think he'd be good at it? No. I'd make a dude come lickety split. Think about it. I'm just saying. What happened to your tooth? What do you think happened? Oh, okay. I, Charles, like, no. Um, I have a general thing where I don't, I have only, I have uh, baby teeth. I don't have adult teeth. One, two, three. You got three, babies four. in your mouth, bro? Yeah. Hold up. Clip it. No. Pause. I, yeah, just can, uh, so I have a. Uh, All your teeth adult. are baby teeth? No. <laughs> no. Just these ones. One, well, the, two, well, they three, didn't get four. the memo? Yeah, they just, they didn't want to leave. Take them all out. They did. And that's why I have false teeth. One, two, three, four. So the three are good. And this one fell the fuck out. Oh. Rooting everything. It just, it just fell out? It literally just, the, well, what happened is the bone. Where'd it go? It went to Tahiti. <laughs> the, it went, <laughs> the bone started to pull away from the metal root in my mouth. And so the root literally just fell out. It's like crazy. Like the body's like doing living things in there right now. Yeah. They're, they're, like the bone in your mouth is like, I'm good. Get out. I don't want this fucking fake shit. You know what's weird as shit? Me? Yeah. But also, <laughs> when you sleep, your body's like, we'll take it from here. When yeah. you sleep. That's autopilot on a Tesla. Let me let me, let me me freak you out a little more. Sometimes you come. Sometimes you do. But sometimes your heart is always beating. Tired. Your heart stops, bruh. Dead. Tired. Wait, always. Just literally right now, beating, 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 beating. That freaks me the fuck out. I don't like to think about that. I, right? It freaks you out a little bit. Yeah. The moment that it needs a that it needs a little break, dead. Dead. How can you, why do you feel your heart in your throat? You know, you like do the two hand thing. Yeah. You read sex so good she does this because I have it. it. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. The other night, the lady was, uh, oh, this is a good segue. The other night, <laughs> we were about to f- do the... Fucking yeah, and she goes, "Should I wear my Apple Watch to see how many calories it is?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "Actually, no, because no. if it's seven calories, oh no." I'm like, "Maybe we should have sex on a treadmill. Maybe that'll help." What's good calorie burn for sex? Let's guess. Uh, I'm going with wh- uh, three hundred calories. Three hundred calories for a good session, like but three th- bites of a Subway BLT. Isn't that funny? That like you go, oh, let me go to the gym, burn some calories. And you look One at the treadmill gym, yeah. and it's like 27 calories and you're like, I can not breathe. Yeah. Literally, you just, I just burned yeah. the calories that I intake from a mental. Well, dude, it's like you look at the, yeah, exactly. You look on the back of a Tic Tac box and it's like, this is 20 calories. I just ran off a Tic Tac. Yeah. It's it's really. Tic Tac. If, if you start thinking about that, it just drives you insane. Yeah. Um, how I many would, how many? I would say a good, on the average, I would say a good session. Okay. Let me be real about this. Um, Cause we looked it up before. I think the average session in America is like four minutes or some dumb shit. How many minutes? Dumb shit, some legendary shit. Like four or five minutes. Wait, yeah. but guys have to burn more calories in sex than girls, right? Well, unless a girl's on top, riding that cocky. I know, but how many positions are there where it's like the girls? The girls getting it in? Yeah, literally one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's like a three to one ratio. You hit the missionary. You hit the doggy. You hit the standing up. You hit the fucking squirt, 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 and she gets on top. So. Yeah, I love a good on. Dude, you ever have those sessions where she just stays on top? Like you start with her on top and then she just does it. God, that is the best. I I never know what to do with my hands. I just put them on boobs. You just put them on boobs. Yeah, what do you? I do put here? my fingers in the ass. <laughs> Reach around, go up. Oh, oh yeah. You just in there, ding dong. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me get some candy, bitch. Well, yep. <laughs> You, want you might want to Snickers? check a different cabinet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Noted. Do you do one on the tit, one on the ass? Yeah. And I recently told y'all this. My girl likes to get her nipple squeezed. Squeezed. And I didn't, I don't think I've reached the threshold where she's not comfortable. Like, I think she wants me. And you're hard? Like, she's pissed I'm not a lobster. That's how much <laughs> she wants her nipple so squeezed. You go in there hard? Hard. And is this just like the pain? I, I don't I've never I've never met a girl I've been with a girl I guess that loved like nipple play yeah like you know you know those nipple clamps I never understood I was like who the fuck is that for yeah my lady the nipple clamps well, dude, I mean that's role play you just get the fucking Tostitos bags and somebody didn't finish and grab the clamps on them like, <laughs> babe are we getting spicy tonight she's like oh, fuck are those the Tostitos scoops uh-huh. um, how many calories do you burn during sex uh, men, this study says men burn an average of 100 calories during the average sex session and women burn 69 calories. 69! Yeah. Uh, I think that's... But this also says that 
men burn roughly 4.2 calories per minute during sex. So they're, this study is saying the average is 24 minutes, no. 100 calories. No. Hold on. Four calories Four a Four calories a minute. What? That you is non- the slowest pump ever. Yeah, you non-pump and fuck. That's like maybe if you're like in the same room as another couple and you're like, we don't want them to hear. And you're like, yeah. squee. What's it called? The uh, soaking that the Mormons do? That's what? probably four, four calories a minute. Soaking? You, we've talked about docking. I forget it. Where, Where you, you like, put your penis in and then somebody jumps on the bed. Oh, God. I want to do that at a Chuck E. Cheese bounce house. Very Hold legal. on, <laughs> clip it. <laughs> um, you know what I discovered recently? To not, to, to not make me come fast? Hmm. Small strokes for different folks. Like you Oops. get in there. And you just kind of like, you just kind of gyrate. And it's still, it's stimulating the G spot, but you're not getting the full stroke. The full stroke make it come fast. Really? I yeah. feel like the slow stroke makes me like feel the more sensual, the, the love making. When you're going fast, you're just like, no, 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 no. Well, the fast is how you come. So I'm, I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, so you get it in there, right? And then okay. you sort of just gyrate your hips. You keep saying the word gyrate. I like it. Is that is that somewhere you like learn a big word then the rest like the next two weeks you're like I'm gonna use this in every sentence possible? Yeah, transitive yeah. property. <laughs> transitive property. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but you know what I mean? You so you just put it in there and you sort of just kinda just boom, boom, boom. And so yeah. you're not getting a ton of sensation, but she's still getting the stimulation. Sensation, stimulation. Dang. Dang bars. Dude. Dang bars. Um, Gabe, can you look up? I'm so sorry. I didn't ask it. How many teeth do we have? This is what I would like to know. Because I'm missing one, so I want to know how many teeth that we fucking actually have. Also, Tooth Fairy, weird as shit. Tooth Fairy. We've talked about it before. Yeah. Goes underneath your pillow? That means my dad is a fairy. Or my mom. Whoever took my teeth. What if it wasn't even that? It was just like the nanny. <laughs> Who are these people? Fuck. With- oh. Sorry. Sorry. We almost just pulled every recorder out. We're in a goddamn Plano, Texas. Tooth Fairy. Uh, it, how did I never wake up, though? Like, if, if somebody, like, stepped on a creek downstairs... In my house, I would hear it as a child, but all of a sudden, you're just underneath my pillow. Are you a light sleeper? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think so. I sleep I, through the night. <laughs> you're acting like you're lying to me. I don't know. Are you a light sleeper? Well, I'm saying, like, do you wake up if, like, a bird chirps or, like, your girl moves over or something like that? No, I'm a gradual, like, you know, it takes me, like, if, if I, like... You ever hear something in your dreams, but it's really happening in real life? Yeah. That shit pissed me off. Turn that goddamn lawnmower off. Yeah, stop starting your car so loud. Did I ever tell you I had a dream two nights ago about Andrew Schultz? Well, yeah. was it a wet dream? I wish it was. <laughs> I was talking to him You're about- like, fuck those camera angles. <laughs> I was talking to him about something, and he lost his fucking mind at me. He was pissed. I could see that. He was just in, We were in a kitchen, and he oh, started yeah. being like, no, that's what they do in Europe. No. And he started hitting spices down. And he was like, that's what they do in Europe. You stole the idea from Europe. And I was like, what was your idea? I don't know. <laughs> like, what if we drove on the right side of the car? And he's like, what the fuck? Honestly, what the hell? Drive on the fucking right side of the goddamn road. Or are we on the wrong side? We're wrong. You know what's crazy? Yeah, huh. exactly. You go there and like, you guys are wrong. They're like, no, you guys are wrong. But why do we, we hated them so much that we just changed everything. That's got to be it. Or like you have you have the empire we hate it we don't like kings we're gonna come here freedom freedom we of religion. We to play that Black Eyed Peas song. Where is the love? That's I don't know the rest of the song. Wait, I think it literally just repeated. Where, Where is, is the love? love? This was so funny because they're the <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they did this song that said that that was like let's get it started, but their whole phrase was uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But they're like also like, where's the love? Hey, it's not in the let's get it started song. I'll tell you that much. Look up the original lyrics to that. Not great. Not great at all. Can't I say keep, it. I keep thinking that they're just gonna bring it up. Someone's gonna like discover it one day and be like, Hey guys, uh remember when when they when they made this song? And they're like, Yeah, but Fergalicious. And they're like, True. Yeah. <laughs> She's so hot. So hot. She popped off and left them in the dust. Oh, did she like not is she not with them anymore? No. Oh. I, I don't know. I don't think so. Where the hell are they? I know uh, Sam I Am. What's his name? I Am Sam? Sam I Am. <laughs> That's green eggs and ham. Am. First of all, if somebody gave me ham with green eggs, <laughs> authorities come here now. Yeah, there's poison in it. Also, can we talk about, I want to talk about two things right now. First of all, hamburger, ham. Not in the burger. It's called a beef, beef burger. Beef burger. Yeah. Also, I, can we talk about the kids that fucking slammed on your door? <laughs> dude, I'm, this, this trip has been 
so interesting. We talked about it on the Patreon. I'll give a very quick brief summary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's because, uh, you know, I, the longer I've been here, the more I'm like, whatever, the scenario is fine. But essentially, I had to postpone the Plano, Texas shows because the comedy club wasn't ready yet in September. And I was like, that's fine. I get it. I was the very first weekend that was going to be there, right? And then, let's see, it's Saturday. And then the first show is Thursday. Like, Tuesday or Wednesday, they reach my like agency reaches out to them like, hey, the club's good, we're ready. And they're like, yeah, we're ready. Like, we'll see you in fucking Plano. And then I get here Thursday, three hours before the show, yeah, if not less. And I'm in the lobby and I see the club owner walk up to me, and she's always been great to me. She's always been awesome to me. So I see her, I start shooting the shit. I'm like, hey, what's up? Let's fucking go. Whoa, let's fucking let's ride, baby. Let's do it. Can't wait for these shows. And then she goes, yeah, yeah, the club's not ready. We're going to have to do the shows in the Marriott. And I was like, that's a funny sentence to say. Uh, and she's like, no, I'm serious. I'm like, what? I, have you ever been so mad? You, you, you're you not even mad yet? Yeah. Your brain passed mad. Yeah, it's like when you drop a plate and you're like, it's not going to fall. It's like, it's definitely going to fall. And but you're not mad because it's in the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she turns, she was like, walks me down the hall and it's a giant banquet wedding hall, s- massive ass circles, like literally where they have bar mitzvahs and like trade report shows. Like, and she goes, this is where we're doing the show. It's where you buy time shows. I'm this losing what- my, f- yeah, I'm yeah. losing my fucking mind. I'm like, how you, she didn't run this past anybody. She didn't tell anybody on my team. We just showed up and this is what the scenario was. So obviously I'm like, I had expectations to film at a comedy club. But I, I, I thought it was, like, I was so excited because all their other comedy clubs are so fun. And if you know anything about comedy, it's not at a Marriott. I'll tell you that much because no. how comedy clubs are built is set up for you to succeed. There's low ceilings. It's dark. It's packed in. There's a vibe. There's getting drinks. There's music. This is a, banquet hall it's fucking massive like the ceilings like Shaq could do a full layup and still have room to open up a two-story cafe in there like it is massive it is so fucking big and I, and we're so close to the show time and people have already so they sent out a message to all of the people coming to the shows that were like Hey, the show's now at the Marriott. They didn't run it past me or anybody, and it's too late to do anything. I was like, "All right, let's just do the first show and see how it is." And of course, I mean, I talked to people after the show. They said it was fun. They had a good time, but it, it wasn't fun for any of the comedians. It was, no. it was not like the jokes just got lost. Like you want comedy in intimate settings, so the jokes are like it's a rolling laughter. But this was like, ah, dude. I, I brought up on the Patreon. Can you do the va- your vape example? I feel like that's the com- most. Yeah, yeah. The analogy for comedy is you want comedy to be in a small space. So if there's 10 people in a small room and they're all vaping, right? That's how you know this is going to be a good analogy. It's talking about vaping. If everybody vapes at once, the clouds are going to kind of percolate. They're going to kind of chill and they're going to roam in that room. But if you're doing it in an NFL stadium, NFL, your yeah. girlfriend, hut, hut. Fuck you. Fuck. <laughs> Ten people in a stadium that vape, it's gonna get lost immediately. So there's no momentum in comedy, and that's when our shows are at the best when there's a good momentum and we're and we're just kind of feeling the energy and the vibe. So I'm just like, it's just fucking. The shows are very, they're okay. We reset the room. They're fine. They're you know I just don't want to come back to Dallas and then people be like, yeah, we saw him. It was at a Marriott. Is this next show at a Sheridan Inn? Like this is fucking, like it it really devalues what I this perception that I try to like give to my like yeah. supporters of people and be like, yo, this was dope. We went to a theater. It was awesome. It was a good experience. So, you know, I'm just, I'm my own hardest critic. So I don't want people to come here and be like, yeah, we saw him at a Marriott. I mean, it was fun. Are we going to go again? Probably not. I don't know. Yeah. Gabe, hold the scenes <laughs> for a different time. I'm having an emotional <laughs> breakdown on a fucking king size bed. And then this morning, there's also a hockey tournament going on in this hotel. And they're like seventh graders. They're fucking sprinting up and down the halls. And a lot of them, which is even more concerning, were coming up to me and Michael. They're like, oh, stiff socks. And I was like, don't say that next to your parents. That's very illegal. Yeah. Also, they immediately like recognized me. And I was like, what's up? You know, take the photo, do that. Hell yeah. But these are immature kids. This morning, this morning, they start banging on my door. They find out where I am in the hotel. They're banging on my door. They're ding dong ditching my hotel. And I hear them. They go, ah, Trevor, ah, that's his room. That's his room. And look at this photo. I, I sent it to you guys today. It's, they literally lined up my door with water bottles. They found a fuck ton of water bottles and they rang it up. And then they just started with banging on my door. Just, duh, 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 duh. And this is at like 8.30 a.m. I'm coming off two shows at a fucking Marriott that I didn't have that great of a time at. They're they're fine. They're okay. And everybody I talked to afterwards, like, we had a great time. But after doing shows in a real comedy club last weekend to a fucking Marriott, and now there's a bunch of hockey kids banging on my door, 
if I'm ever coming back to Plano again, I'm not. I'm not <laughs> coming back to Plano. It's just it's just one of those, there's certain shows, there's certain weekends as a comedian where you feel it and you just go, this ain't it. And Plano, not it. Liberty Township, not it. Des Moines, <laughs> Iowa, not it. Those are three. I asked Michael today, I said, what are the three worst cities you've ever done? Liberty Township and Des Moines, Iowa. And when I say that, <laughs> it's not like they're terrible. They're just some, It's it, the, the interesting thing is, they're they're not terrible, but sometimes there's clubs that are just so fun. You're like, this is this is comedy at its peak. And here's the thing, man. It's not even like it's not even like a, a knock on the people that live in those cities. It's right. not at all because you guys are dope and you guys are you guys are having a great time. It's really a knock on the comedy club setup. There's yes. certain rooms in what you're most like get into. There's certain rooms where like acoustically or just in a weird like not even be like New Age LA whatever, but like on an energy level, it's just you're like this is just not well, for yeah, comedy. Liber- like Liberty Township, Exa- exactly. Trash. They set they had like massive tables and they were selling tickets by two. So they had a table for eight people, but two people at the front, two people at the back. There's a massive gap. It was tall as fuck. It was an old uh, movie theater. And they started the shows at 6 p.m. So it's like you're just kind of setting us up to have this weird energy in there. So also when you're going to a Marriott, but you're like, this is a weird. I'm supposed to just see somebody getting married in the one next to us. And then the hallway down there is having a bar mitzvah. And now I'm supposed to laugh about cum jokes. It's all, it's also like, there's no, there's no servers in the room. So people are getting up intermittently to go get drinks. And I guarantee you, they feel sort of weird to get up and get drinks. So they feel weird sort of to get up and go to the bathroom. So like there's certain people that are in the room that are literally being like, damn man, I wish I want a vodka tonic, but I don't yeah. want to get up during damn man. I got to yeah. poop or I got to shit or I got to do cocaine, but I can't get up. I feel bad for these comics. And now so, you're thinking and now about you're thinking something about that. and not doing exactly. the comedy. And again, I appreciate the club for trying to be quick on their feet and be like, yeah. fuck, the, the comedy club's not ready. Uh, let's do it at a Marriott. But like, run it past me. I just didn't like the surprise. I mean, like, yeah. this is where it is. And yeah. I was like, was this your guy's show? This is your guy's club. But essentially, like, let's let's have a 30 minute conversation of the options. We can do this hotel or we can try to like hit up every venue. Like, you know, let's or we'll we can do, do it at a park. I don't give a shit. But it's like Cooter's Creek, Cooter's Pond, Pond. Let me swim in Cooter again. That was just a quick seven minute recap of every <laughs> seven minutes. Dude, I was like, yeah, I'll go briefly into it. But the kids knocking on the door, and it's just it's awkward to be in the same hotel that you're performing at. Like I'm just in the lobby and people are just staring at me. Yeah. And then they like saw me go to my room and they're banging on the door. It's just everything about it. Dude, the whole the whole stiff socks, like younger kid recognition, that's also weird, dude. Cause you I think you were on stage and I was I was going down to go to the cl- quote unquote club. Not the club. It's a fucking banquet hall where you where you buy timeshares. And the kid was like, You're the guy from Stiff Socks, Stiff Socks. And then his mom came out and he looked at his mom and goes, That's the guy from Stiff Socks can't say that to yeah. a grown mother and she's like oh my god the floor general <laughs> for the best car insurance rates online come on the floor and save some time oh my god right jingles put the goddamn mic down let's go dude. this is my episode volume two <laughs> <laughs> i will i will say though um as much as all of the fucking rigmarole back and forth banquet hall blah 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 uh, the shows have been as good as they can be. And to recap what you said, I really do think everyone's having a great fucking time. Yeah. Just op- optically, it's just a little I weird. I think what just stressed me out was the the surprise getting thrown at me. Also, I've performed at their, all the other comedy clubs yeah, yeah. that they own. They've always been great to me. I've performed at all their clubs, and they're all very fun. They're all like the House of Comedy ones. They're all very fun. And that's why I was just like, it was more so like, if it was a random city I'd never been to, I'd be like, I guess that's just what it is in yeah. Santa Fe, New Mexico. But since it's been so far, all the other ones, I was like, I brought Gabe out. I were filming all the shows. I'm like, we're going to fucking get so many good, uh, you know, much footage. And then you're just like, I feel like this weekend's just like wasted, you know, because I've done shows in Dallas before and it's you're fucking crazy. Nuts. Dude, dude, did I ever tell you, remember, did I ever tell you about syrup titties? Yeah. What? With the chocolate on her. That was in Dallas. What? I was in Dallas. It was like three years ago. A girl DM me. She said something wild. She's like, you can lick Hershey's chocolate syrup off my nipples. And then I said that at the show. I was like, dude, this show's going to be crazy. Some girl said she DM me this and she was at the crowd. Yes. And then later that <laughs> night, I did the lick off her titties. Did not. I didn't lick Hershey's off her titties, but we did do uh, some hook it in up. Oh, shit. Great rack. Call me Nordstrom because she got a rack. Dude, Nordstrom rack. Underrated. Underrated place to buy fucking uh, Ray Bans and jackets. Yeah. And I will say, I can't believe a girl DM'd you and said, put some chocolate syrup on my titties. And you hooked up with her that night. 
and didn't put chocolate today. I, well, huh? I mean, dude, it was 2 a.m. I, I remember running to a grocery store to buy, or not a grocery store, a gas station, my condoms. Yeah. Sprinted. Sprinted across the street. Yeah. I was like, like I, I ran to the cashier. I was like, you guys, here we go. He's like, did you just fuck right now? No. I wish. I'm, go- I'm going to. And then I ran back to the hotel room and I like tried to be cool and collected. I was like, She's <laughs> so out of focus. She's like, "Did you do P ninety X?" Yes, I did. P ninety oh, sex. Dude, Fuck me. Did I fucking tell you? Uh, may- maybe in goddamn Cleveland, we were in Cleveland. Some girl was supposed to come over, and I ran the same situation. I ran to the goddamn grocery store or at like a bodega. They only had magnums. I go, <laughs> I guess that'll fucking work. I'll mm. wear a baggy jean jacket over my goddamn cockolas. Brought it back. Was stoked. Text me literally maybe two minutes after I got back. Not gonna make it. Well, you owe me four dollars for condoms. Did you use them? Yeah, to put fucking meat in so I could <laughs> freeze it. Too big. I would have just jerked off in them. <laughs> I know you would have, you weirdo. I honestly wouldn't be mad. I was like, hey, you can't make it. Whoa, I get a little jerk off in these condoms. <laughs> Regardless, man, I don't know. It's uh, it's it's a weird thing to complain about having a, a great audience that wants to see you live, and they're they're just ready for a good time. But I think I just had really high expectations for a uh, rock and weekend. So I think that's exactly what it is because we've yeah. all been in Dallas to do comedy. It's been fucking incredible, and we got here and we're at a La Quinta Inn, and you know we're making the best of it. Yeah. So I don't know. It it caused a ruckus, but it, it was, was it was some ruckus. But it was the surprise factor. Yeah. It was the hey, this is what you're doing now. Loop me in. Loop me in. E. Mail me. Yeah. Email me. Yeah. She was like, you're on a flight. I was like, I have a full team that you could reach out to. A lot of people, a lot of phone numbers, a lot of emails. What's up, Call somebody? my mom. She'll know. Isn't it funny, the emergency numbers? Who do you put? My mom. You put your mom? Yeah. Oh, I feel like if your girl knew that, she'd be upset. Uh, Hamburger. Wow. Yeah, but what if y'all break up and you got like the same emergency number at your like doctor's office and they're like, oh, he's in the hospital. They're like, good, pull the plug. You're like, wait, this is the emergency <laughs> number? My mom would never say that though. Um, honestly, that is a fair point. I never yeah. thought about that. I never thought about that. Mo- gr- mom will always help you. Always. Girlfriend's like, he was being rude to me on Tuesday. Pull the plug. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's, what's his, uh, he what's his health insurance? He did compliment the feng shui in the new place. God damn. Michael, I got a question for you. Give it to me. Do you see this dumb, stupid plastic water bottle next to me? I hate it. It looks stupid. Did you know that there is a new water on the market? Which one? Uh, all of them, especially 7-Eleven Whole Foods. Ladies and gentlemen, Liquid Death. All right, this is actually a dope sponsor that I'm excited for because yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they come in an aluminum can. Yeah. Dude, it literally looks like a tall boy. Like, like if you ever got to be DD for a night and you're at the bar and you're like still trying to look freaking chill as fuck like your Hulk Hogan's nephew drink a liquid death because they literally look like a tall boy they also look like an energy drink dude you want to piss off some cops drive around whipping in the Miata and drink a couple liquid deaths and the guy's like whoa what is this guy drunk and you're like nah I'm hydrated dun na not dun na not liquid death man it's really cool it's uh I'm very behind it it is uh you know they're all about murdering your thirst also Murder the plastic, okay? There's too much plastic. You guys want to kill dolphins? Do you like killing dolphins? No. Okay. Well, why don't you get some liquid death? Because there are no goddamn plastic killing dolphins in the dolphin hole, okay? You got the the aluminum cans, all right? And also aluminum cans, what do they do? They recycle, and you can make more aluminum. Aluminum out of aluminum. Yeah, the Illuminati. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I don't know if you ever had a cold water out of aluminum cans. It honestly hits different than... Plastic doesn't hold the cold. God, I'm on a roll. Oh! That's why, like, you know, some beers, when they got those, like, blue mountains on it, and it feels crisp. You get a... You crack the water. You feel good about it. And I'll tell you what, man. I drink these at my desk a lot, and, like, I go through a full one so much quicker than an average water bottle. For whatever reason, it's just so much easier to, like, chug out of. It's really weird, but I fly through them, and I feel like I'm more hydrated instead of, like, drinking out of this stupid, nameless bottle with a blue cap that might rhyme with the Sony. Okay, and a lot of you guys are like, dude, I would love to get Liquid Death. So you guys are like, I need to know where to get them. I will tell you right now. Okay, so get free shipping on all Liquid Death water and merch at liquiddeath.com backslash socks. Okay, that is Liquid Death. 
dot com backslash socks or grab some at Whole Foods and Seven Eleven. They actually have really sick merch. They sent me some stuff that's like really cool. It like looks like just like like some shit you find on like Fairfax. Yeah, the logo is sick. It's really sick. Back to the episode. Damn. God damn. First of all, might I add? I know we're getting into uh, some sock talk, but I will say. I did check out the new place that me and yeah. the, the later are living in now. And um, I've been so like decorate on a budget. I don't really care, like whatever. But I'll tell you what. I went to the the new place the other day. Yeah. And uh, terrible. We, no, it's great. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. But I'll tell you this. Uh-huh. We had Cooter Pond activities. What? What? And we had some, so just some good old fashioned, good, genuine, not rushed. You know, we had some good old fashioned. Passionate. Squirt, squeet, squirt, squeet. Yes, yeah, so it was some good loving. Let me tell you something. I, I didn't tell you guys this. I've been kind of having like more like maybe a dare I say passionate sex. Okay. Like with like like infused with love. Infused. Which I never had What is this, before. a latte? I, I think so. Goddamn. What do, you, what, do, what do you mean more passionate? You putting just on like, Marvin Gaye in the background? Just like less choking, more love. Oh, wow. Yeah. That should be your Netflix title. <laughs> Let's talk more love. But for us, it's like our schedules are so fucked and we're so yin and yang. You know, she's super tired when she gets off work or fucking other dudes. Who knows? So it's a lot of times our, our love is like, it's like, it's very like, it's, it's, you know, it's like we're, we'll do like a shower or something like it's, it's quicker. It's like, it's still good, but it's just not like that, like set the tone, light the candles, put on yeah. the fucking get the feng shui. So we did some feng shui loving, you know? And did you guys was, like candles, put on music like that type of shit? No, I mean, but but it but it, it had the same feeling. I get it. We're well, still it. moving, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Get it. Who but else can? Anyways, I've been such a pain in the ass to deal with the thing with the furniture and furnishing the place and all that. It was so funny because I done nutted, came in the mouth. She did a little squirt, squeeze, little water yeah. fountain, play with it. Ham, what? Play like with a it. like a fondue pot? Yeah, like you ever seen a kid chew on Skittles and uh-huh. spit out the Skittles and suck it back? Yep. In? She did <gasps> that with my nut. God, I almost said her name. <laughs> <laughs> um, but man, I, I was funny because I was laying on the bed. I go, you ever come so hard? And that, because I started looking around the room, I go, yeah, that mirror does look really good over there. You know, you ever come so hard? You start agreeing to your girl's feng shui advice. Yeah. I was like, yeah, what? I was just laying there naked. I was like, yeah, we should put a little poster right there. Maybe like some, some, some naked ladies, or maybe like with some drawn figures, you know, or something like that. I like that. Dude, I, I came so hard. I changed the way my bedroom looks. Like I, I swear <laughs> to God, dude, she like, she, from the moment I met her, that she came into my room and I had like a, uh, one of the walls painted like bright orange. I love it. I like waking up. It's nice and bright in there, whatever. You wake up and you go, Celica. And then yeah. that's how you start your day. It's just a little accent wall. Yeah. The rest the rest is kind of like this light tan color, but it was just this bright ass orange wall and she fucking hated it. <clears throat> and also my bed was like really high with like this big headboard. It was like, a, like I, I don't know. It felt, had like a royal feel to it. Jane I liked the it. Castle. <clears throat> yeah, I liked it. And, but I literally, you ever come so hard you just agree to change your whole fucking bedroom? Well, dude, that's what it was. I was literally like, yeah, we should get those little plants with like the, you know, those furry ones. They're like the, 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 the like dried sticks, but with like furry things on it. They're like flowery things. I think so. They're like super fluffy white. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Then you don't have to water them? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're dead. Oh, they are the dead? Yeah. That's pretty sad. Well, they're plants. Yeah, but they're dead. They used to be alive. Now they're dead. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Oh, man. But like, I was like looking, I was like, yeah, what if we put a vase over there? And I was like, damn, I just came so hard. I fucking turned into HGTV. God damn. PNT, no. MJ Designs. Gabriel? Let's do some sock talk. We have a submission here from- um, Submission. Megan Johnson. And Megan Megan. Johnson wanted to send this in um, in relation to an older Stiff Socks episode called NFT That Coochie. Love I believe it. it was episode 118. Uh, so this is the headline. It's from the Daily Mail. And it says, Ooh. buy my G-Spot NFT. Buy it? What? So a singer uh, is selling digitized versions of her rarest body parts from $100,000 up. But like, an NF- like you don't. like You, you just, don't. You, you own the NFT of it. So you can NFT that coochie? She literally like, NFT'd that coochie. Maybe she listened to the episode and was like, hold on. Hold on to something. Yeah, so here's a quote from the company that's partnering with her on it. They say, uh, fans can now... It's funny to say, like, oh, we're partnering on her coochie. They, they say that fans can now become an owner of part of one of 406 unique uh, body parts. A chunk, a chunk of her delightful left foot, her unbanded index finger, like her, her shapely right ble- breast, 
her G-spot, or even her magical smile. If you buy both lips, that is. Dude, do you know how weird a picture of the G-spot would be? It would, just, it would just look, the ins- it would look like the ins- inside of a bubble gum. Like, what are you even talking yeah. about? It just looks well, gross. Dude, everything sounds like, like even even the fucking, there's just like a chunk of her left foot. It's just like, a, like, the, like that's serial killer. It's just a block, a foot. That's, I, I love all feet of it and is that's weird. awful. Yeah. All Who is this it. singer? Is she like actually famous? Is it like Mariah Carey or some idiot that has like a thousand uh, listens on Spotify? She, her that's name very is mean. I'm sorry. Dota. Uh, Doja Cat? She's a Polish singer, so I'm... I'm not sure, but I will right, find right. that out right now. What's her Dota? How Dota. Uh, D O D A. D O D A. Look that shit. Two hundred and thirteen k monthly listeners. Oh, Dota Queen on Instagram. Hold up. Somebody give me my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they said that they put they oh. split her body digitally into over four hundred. This has to be her. Yeah, Dota Queen. Whoa. How much could you NFT your cock for right now? 11 cents and a ride home. <laughs> no one's fucking buying my cock. I think I could do 130 bucks for it. I get uh, DMs from people like seriously being like, send me your feet. How much? Oh, Literally, dude. I'll do it. It's very odd. I wonder how, like, what would you, what would you feel comfortable doing that for? My foot? Yeah. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Yeah. I wouldn't. Unless unless it was like fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I would yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? Dude, I saw a girl it was an article somewhere, I think in New York Post, that a girl made millions of dollars just selling her feet. She's like the queen of feet picks or whatever. Yeah, there's multiple people like that. Like that millions hands, of dollars. If you had to model one thing on your body, what do you think it'd be? Like, like you're like, this is the best thing I have in my body. Abs. I can't believe you just have abs. It's weird. You have abs and a girlfriend. What the hell's wrong with you? You got to lose one of them. I, dude, this this is the crazy part. I got abs, just got verified, can't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> can't have a girlfriend. Can we talk about how our girlfriends are having dinner tomorrow? Ew! Shut it down! I don't like that we're not in town for it. I don't like it. I think it's going to be five minutes of being like, girly, you're so cute. I like your outfit. Five minutes later, isn't it fucking annoying dating a quote unquote comedian? They're not even funny. They say <laughs> the same fucking jokes over and over and over. Dude, you know what we should do? We should find out where the fuck. Oh, we're we not should gonna go be to in dinner. town. What? We're not. Oh, I'm pissed. We're not gonna I'm be gonna, a, I'm gonna oh, dress like up. in the movies. Yeah, we're gonna dress up like a plant. Oh, we had two different ideas. <laughs> I want to dress up like a plant. Okay. And just be behind her like this, just like a ficus. Right. And then as soon as they say something bad about me, I say, gotcha, bitch. Mm-hmm. Like that. But you mm-hmm. want to do the menu thing. The menu thing. It's more traditional. Okay. But everything's on can QR I wear- codes. You're hiding behind an iPhone. <laughs> can I wear a fedora? Do you own one? No. Thank God. Gabe, do you have a fedora? I yes, feel like, you do. I feel like you have a newspaper's boy hat. I used to have a newspaper boy hat. I love it. Gabe, when did yeah. you lose your virginity? I forget. Uh, 17. Were you on heroin? <laughs> no. Oh. Damn, you probably last so long. Oh, yeah. It'd be one pump per minute. Can you get hard on uh. heroin? Uh, Hard on uh, heroin title. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't having sex when I was doing heroin. I was do you, doing heroin. Oh, do you get like horny on heroin? Title. <laughs> Modeling work really well. Uh, no, I didn't. Do people get? I, I wonder what heroin sex because I've seen people in like New York City parks on heroin and they just they look like they're melting. They just they it's look, slow. It's yeah, it's all yeah, mental. They look like doing tai chi in a park. I would watch that. I think. All right. Anyways, our girlfriends are going to dinner while we're out of town. And I think they're, they're going to, I don't, it might be helpful for, you know, your girlfriend to just to kind of be like, how do you deal with a guy like who like travels this much? And, yeah. With, uh, with mental disorders. And yeah. Like he's yelling. <laughs> yeah. And he gets mad when you leave the sink on the spray mode and not the normal drain mode. Like little things. There's little things, dude. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I, I want them to, to be close though. It would make everything so much easier. My God. Well, do you go on the road? We bring them. Oh, They're yeah. They're patty caking in the fucking hallway. They're hanging out with the kids, beating on my door. Yeah, but also it's like, let's go do stuff. I'm like, don't you have a friend to go do it with? Huh? And then they can fuck off and then we can actually do comedy. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, why I oughta? <laughs> Dude, who was the first guy to say, why I oughta? He was, he had CTE. There's no, you know what I mean? There's I no, feel like when you say why oughta, you have to be swinging your arm around like this. Yeah. Why I oughta, like it's a, a lasso. Why I oughta. Did you like the show Ted Lasso? Uh, I did. I yeah. didn't finish it, but I liked it. I watched some of it on a plane. How do you feel? 
fine. I feel like TV comedy right now, it's it's not like laugh out loud comedy. You're like, I'm invested. This is good. It, yeah, it was a thing that I could keep watching. But I needed it more never... yelling. Yeah, I just, I needed more I sex. I also have sex? I needed, I, you know the owner of the, the soccer team? Oh, yeah. Show me your tits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those tits were out. Show them. Yeah. NFT them. NFT. Um, yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I'm. I mean, you know, I'm happy they're um, they're they're doing the old the the, the dinner because uh, you know I think for my girlfriend's mental state with all this like because it's brand new to her, I think if she could like bounce some ideas off and yeah. try to figure out the landscape, I think it would help her out a lot. But um, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna come back single. I think <laughs> you I can't think, say that. Yeah, but I think your girl's gonna give her the lowdown, and my girl's oh, gonna be like, yeah. oh well, then this is yeah. tragic. I want to yeah, date yeah. someone that like. Is She's normal. Like, so what are some of the other girls Michael's brought around? And she's like, I oh don't, God. I don't know if you want to. Oh God. How's that question? Oh, why would you do that to me? I didn't think that was why? even they've an option. All, they've all been great women. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wrong. Think about a girl who had three snakes as a six-year-old. That's every girl I brought around you guys. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Strong tarantula vibes. All they of probably them. probably had a cooter turtle. 100 bring it full circle we got to do some secret socks right yeah we yeah do. we got a secret sock Gabe, are you still here um i'm am i still here yeah or are we still here true all of it uh, <laughs> Uh-oh. all of it all right we got a I know i saw that wow all right uh anonymous submission <laughs> this says uh so i was drunk and i was dancing and uh the girl in front of me grabs my hand and pulls me onto her and we start uh and we start grinding dancing yeah 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 yeah. i didn't see her face or anything she was throwing it back bro we were doing it for like 20 30 minutes and then the dance ended i asked for her number and she turned around and i found out it was my sister what 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 hey what, I'm what, what which way he was freak dancing with a girl for 25 to 30 minutes turned around as a sister now I'm- I'm hard. Oh, Jesus. Christ. No, he, she turned around and he goes, can I have your number? And she goes, you already have it. Oh no. <laughs> You're in yeah, my favorite. Emergency contact. <laughs> no, dude, this is, is that real? I, I, who knows? If it's I would real. like, I would just like to say that did the sister know? Because if the sister didn't know, then all right, funny, funny, dude, funny. Like, let's be real. Yeah, how he do you got you're rocked just up a, to a random sister. guy behind you? You're not going like, to. Like for 25, 30 minutes? Yeah. Well, I mean, if she's you drunk, so you'd be like, if you you live together, probably, you you'd see what she was wearing before she left, and you'd be like, oh, this girl is, was wearing the same thing that my sister was wearing. Yeah, but I mean, you've been like super drunk, you don't even know. I asked my mom out one time. I was drunk. Weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That is so weird. I mean, here's uh, there's no uh there's no uh what do you do if she turns around and she's your sister? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you go yo. You ever been a cooter bond? <laughs> I think out of pure homage to cooter pond, we just have to title this episode cooter pond. Have to cooter pond. It's what nine hours and thirty minutes from here? I honestly, I'd rather do that than the shows tonight. <laughs> I, I was just thinking that. Postpone all the shows. Move them to cooter pond. All right. How many people have lost to Virginia at cooter pond? Four hundred and twelve. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> yeah. I'm about to make it four hundred thirteen. Let's go to who? Me. You gonna fuck yourself? I do it on the Is masturbating fucking yourself? Yep. Well, that's sad as shit. I'd like to say... Isn't it weird your hands are used for so many things in life, one of which is touching your cock? The top thing that your hand does <laughs> is touching your cock. Like, literally. Literally. If it's you were, like... It, it kills, it hunts, it gathers, it protects the man. It also strokes gently. Strokes the man. Strokes the man. Um, I'd like to just... I'd like... Whoa. I would just like to bring this, uh, just, you know, put a button on this uh, episode. If you were freaking your sister and you didn't know, what do you, I just, I want to go back to this question okay. and I want to pose it to you. If you were freak dancing a girl for 20, 30 minutes. All right. Well, this is not going to happen. Dude, that's fucking kids. No, they said guest services. What the fuck could they possibly want? Oh my god! I hate playing with Texas with a passion. Gabe, get in there. He's coming. Isn't that crazy? You just yell "coming." Yeah. It's gonna be some... chocolate covered strawberries. Is somebody trying to fuck me? A card. 
What is... We have chocolate covered strawberries? Is somebody trying to From fuck what? Me? From who? Aww. It's from my girlfriend. Aww. Oh. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. Oh my God, she's the absolute best. Are you kidding They're me? fucking horns. <laughs> dude, oh. you were about to go off. Is it? It's, dude, it's still dude, going, yeah? But dude, I thought this was the kids who fucking put the goddamn water bottles on my door this morning. Dude, this is a beautiful moment we captured oh on stiff socks. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Your emotions went from I'm going to kill children <laughs> to I, wanna make I hope children. she swallows my children. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So, wow. I love chocolate covered strawberries. What a oh sweet, what a sweet, sweet lady. So, wait, who wrote the card? I mean, not her. <laughs> it's on Mary. Isn't that weird? It's like some dude down there. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretending to be my girlfriend. Read it out He's loud. Like, oh, sorry, this trip has been so tough. Here is something sweet. I love you. All right. All right, I got, I got a, I got a little. Uh, what are they called? Goosebumps. Oh, uh, I thought you were gonna say hard. No, isn't that funny? I thought it was the kids. Me, I was gonna open the door like a ninety-three year old in Gran Torino with a gun. Be like, what do you want? Get off my lawn. Can right. I? Can, can I, I feed one of these to you essentially? And they're cold. Where the fuck do they get these? The refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Your response time isn't great. What did I ask you the other day? <laughs> What did I ask you yesterday? I was like, oh, what's the grossest thing you're eating? You're like, pussy. <sighs> just think I'm about sweating. Just think about really quickly. Think about vagina. Think yep. about how it looks. Yep. Then you eat it. Well, think about ass. Duh, gross. Ass. You've eaten ass. Barely. I don't eat ass a lot. You? Twice. In your whole life? Tw- whole life. I don't. Life. I don't. Life. I honestly, I would say twice. And I don't like, I've never like, ooh, you know what's next? Ass eating. I kind of just venture down there for a second. Give it a little nibble. And I'm like, that tastes like poop. And then I go up. I've never put my tongue in it. <laughs> I totally <stoned> down. <laughs> That's fine. No, I just thought about how weird it is that like, so somebody at the Marriott in Plano, Texas got what a, a car funny that, said, transition. that said, sorry, this trip has been so tough. The people working here are like, yeah, it's Plano. Yeah. He probably he probably has these on deck yeah. because <laughs> everyone <laughs> gets it. Yeah. He had to write, sorry, you have to stay at the fucking Marriott. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice Marriott, I will say. Oh, the, the Mar- it Marriott is, is, is so swing in the dark. It's swing of the dark. Swing in the dark. <laughs> swing in the Shot dark. in the dark? <laughs> it's the dark. same thing. If you swing in the dark, you know, what the fuck? The fuck both of you guys. I'm trying to go strippers. I'm not going to share them. Dude, it's the same thing. It's, it's a shot in the dark. the same as a swing in the dark. You said you're not going to share them? No. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I please have one? No. Come on. Man. You can have two. All right. That's two middle nice. fingers. Whoa! Um, um, yes, I, I hear you. A Marriott's, sometimes if you go to a Marriott, you're like, what the hell is this? Why are there yeah. roaches? There's a homeless guy underneath my bed. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you want each other to with strawberries? <laughs> Love your girlfriend. Um, or or it's like super nice. What's that? Who's eating chocolate for strawberries with forks and knives? I mean, us. All right. All right. Cut the episode. Start it. Pause it. What if we back. just start it now? Um, all right. This has been, we've been all over the goddamn place. This has been a really fun fucking episode. Um, we got to cut it. We're out of time. Listen, guys, uh, I'd like to see, what's happening? Oh, I thought you were going to do something. I'm going to um, eat these. Do it. Eat them right now. I'll, I'll do sign off as you're eating them. People are just going to rock up watching you eat uh, frozen strawberries. Um, guys, just a reminder, we have a Patreon for extra episodes a month for only $5, and they're ad-free. $5. Dude, that's less expensive than a Burger King number three. Holy shit, where do you get it? I will tell you. Go on patreon.com backslash sticks, stiff socks pod. I am fucking up. Say stiff socks pod. Stiff socks pod. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you get access to the uh, Discord and really famous episodes such as we interviewed Gabe, we interviewed another uh, bonus content of Kendra Sutherland, and we interviewed Peter Green. Who? Oh, bang bus. Will Bang Bus, Peter Green. God, he, dude, every time he turns his Instagram story on, he's fucking so many hot girls. Yeah, he is so sad. So I'm eating chocolate for strawberries and Plano. <laughs> um, all right, guys, that's the episode. We love you. Uh, Till next Wednesday, big kiss and hugs and kisses. Goodbye.